Corey from See Me Clean here. Uh, we are here at the shop setting up my trailer for a fleet wash today. There's not really a lot of setup involved here other than hooking up and going. But we do have some rain in the schedule today. Those might be some thunder showers. Uh, not sure. They're on their way though. So we're going to get hooked up here and we're going to have a little bit of fun in the rain, it looks like. And that's fine. I, I like doing it. It makes rinsing much easier. Um, I do. I'm sure I have my uh, my my stand for the phone here somewhere. I thought, but I don't. Uh, it's gonna make time lapses more difficult unless it's in here. I mean, maybe I just didn't see it in here. You wanna come look for me? Come look with me. Don't mind the garbage. I just. Oh no! Oh, whatever. I looked everywhere. Okay, so I'm going to hook this up and we're going to get going and do a little road trip up to the uh, client. And then I also have a janitorial do, to do today as well. Maybe we'll get that on the uh, on the video. I do have to log in at you right at 2 o'clock. It's currently like 12.30. Yeah, 12.34. Uh, so that's not going to happen. Um, I don't think not. Certainly not at 2. So we're going to race it. We're going to rush it. We're going to do what we can. We're going to remove a wheel chalk before I forget to because I will. And then the whole thing is going to go boom and hit into my shopmate's car, which would be heartbreaking and probably would have my head ripped off. So, anyways, uh, let's continue. Oh, continue. I haven't even started. All right, let's do this. Okay, so we're pulled out. Just doing a little pre-trip. Check and make sure my lights are working. They are. Sweet. Pre-trip done. Wait, no, it's not. Okay, so that's a single. There's not any reason why that would... That was a silly thing to do. All right. If that's flat, we're going to know it because it's going to be flat. It ain't no dually. Oh, man. I can't wait, though. One day I'll get a dually and a big tank in the back. And obviously, I would also need a different car. But it's exciting and it's fun. Anyways, I'm going to close up the shop. And then we'll start heading there. Uh, the rain has uh, um, starting to show up. We have arrived. Nice little feet wash here. I actually have enough hose this time to do all of their trucks because they seem to like to park them pretty much as far away from me as they can. There is no spigot. There is a spigot here that uh, that exists, but it doesn't work. The only spigot that works is way down there. So uh, it's interesting trying to do this account sometimes. I did buy another length of hose, so I should be able to do it. Although, if you... Was it the last time or did I even record it? I don't know if I mentioned it. I think I just mentioned it. But... Uh, uh, my uh, injector won't pull soap at that length, so uh, I'm gonna see in the back here See if we have anything. I'm also noticing something interesting. I Don't know what's going on there. I, I shouldn't be doing that With shouldn't be switching the camera. I know it interrupts everything. So this is the spigot that I need to use What's what's going on here? It better not be broken or something No, nope, we're good Sometimes they have trucks parked back here, they do not. So, all I need to do is extend my hose out as much as I can for the garden. And if I can do all these without oh, using the uh, that extra length of hose, then I'll be able to use soap the whole time. Otherwise, I might just take the bucket with an X-Jet. Yeah, uh, what is it, M5, M6 twist X-Jet, and uh, take the bucket down there just for one or two trucks like that. And then do the rest with the injector. This one looks like it's gonna come out nice. I'm gonna take a big forward picture of this actually. Uh, okay, I'm gonna to get to work and start setting up here. And if, I hope I can find my thing. Anyways, I'll try and get a time lapse somehow for you guys. Well, that was a close call. That pump was not gonna start. <laughs> I think that pump's on its last legs. I don't know, it used to be a one pull start and now it's like five, 10 minutes of me just cranking and cranking. I even threw some brake clean in there, try to get it to fire off. And then finally it did. See the little pop, another crank, two pops, another crank. And it's stubbornly booted up, booted up. Yeah, I mean, it's Windows ME. It feels like Windows ME right now. Anyways, um, I'm gonna get started on all this. And uh, I ended up not using the other length because I have that little whip line. Um, so in theory, maybe we can get some uh, some soap through. So we're gonna try that out. Um, not sure how much I'm gonna get on camera. It's raining out, I don't wanna leave my phone out. So uh, probably not gonna be much, just a simple fleet wash today. All right, I'm gonna give my pump a little break because as we know, it tends to overheat. So I've got some soap on those trucks. Um, just dwelling, I'm gonna take a small break. 
haven't used too much of this, which is kind of nice. So far I've done all five of those on this side and the front and backs. For safety reasons, I'm gonna kind of wait until, I don't know, I can do them all at once on the other side, on the street and face traffic and all that stuff. I don't, I don't really like doing that, but I don't know. For some reason they can't park their trucks here. I don't know. Hello everyone. Um, forgot to do a little sign off yesterday. I'm not gonna lie, I kind of got a little down at the end there and uh, just with some issues with equipment overheating and kind of got frustrated. So, um, so I'm here today now and I'm just gonna actually just clean up the shop a little bit, fix up my trailer. I might even take that pump off and replace the oil. Um, maybe take the carb off and just kind of clean that up a little bit. I don't have a rebuild kit, but oh well. Um, I've got lots of brake clean, <laughs> so we'll do that because that is becoming very, very difficult to start now. Um, first thing, after it's been running, it's fine. So that sounds like it could be a carb, you know, carb issues. So I'll have a look at that and just fix up some of the rest of my equipment here and, and make sure that I'm properly uh, equipped with everything because, you know, basically you get organized. Um, so that's what I'm going to do now. But I also wanted to talk, I've only got a little bit of uh, percentage here left of battery. But I wanted to talk to, I only have one hand. <laughs> I wanted to talk to uh, you about like um, confidence um, in what you're doing and the service that you're providing. Because that's one huge thing, one, one huge learning that I've had is you need to have confidence in yourself and your abilities and in your, equip, in your equipment. Um, and that comes right down to um, making sure you're doing the job correctly and making sure you're doing the job safely. Um, and that you're going to be the result is going to be a happy customer and then with that if those customers aren't paying you need to be confident about that too that is something that I struggled with especially in the um, when we first started out if, if, if payments were coming in I would just kind of let it go or hope that my automatic reminders would would help uh, which they did but you got to get your personality in there more and you need to reach out, especially in the early days. You don't need automation to do that. You reach out yourself because they want that. They want to hear from you, not some stupid automation. So until it gets to a point where you're having a hard time keeping track, reach out yourself and, and be confident when you're doing it too, because, uh, that shows respect. And, uh, you know, initially it's friends and it's family that's helping you out, uh, with these things. And, uh, and they're doing what they can to, to help you as well, but you still gotta follow up with them too, you know? Um, you are providing a service, and at a certain point, you need to be confident that your service is excellent, and that you deserve to be paid for that. For that. So do that, um, in, in right from the get-go. If you can do it, if you have a hard time with confidence, I get it, so do I. Um, but in the last couple of weeks, I've just been going harder at this and getting more and more confident with it. So get those Google reviews right off the start. Don't wait for those. You need to ask for those right from the beginning. You need to collect the money that you are owed um, and you need to get that repeat business going as well, which is something I'm still working on. It's a difficult thing still for me to ask, um, hey, here's the bill. And it's a difficult thing for me to say, well, I'm glad you liked the service this year. Can I book you in for next? Or can I get do your gutters in the fall or something like that? Continue to sell. You're gonna get rejection. You're gonna get rejection. The door-to-door -door thing, I can't do it, but I'm so close to it. I'm just about there. And that's gonna be a lot of rejection there, but that's okay because, hey, knock on 100 doors and two get it. Well, that's could be you know, a good couple of grand in your pocket, depending on the jobs, right? Why? Just because you, you were too not confident enough to, to go door-to-door -door and get those rejections? It's get those rejections. Those rejections are what make you stronger. Um, so I'm just gonna go ahead and clean up this shop a little bit. My corner here, it's a mess. Um, and, uh, and start working on the trailer here a little bit and also put my arm down. It's starting to hurt. <laughs> well, interestingly, I just went ahead and tried to start the, uh, start it and it was a one pole. So I don't know, maybe I shouldn't be driving with it the way that it's currently set. I should probably put a box over it or something. Maybe it's just taking too much of something in here. I did lose the uh, the piece that goes on top of that, unfortunately. So I do cover that while I'm driving, but uh, I don't know. Maybe it's just a one-off. We'll see. But I am going to go ahead and try changing the oil on both that engine as well as uh, the pump. I do have pump oil, so that's good. 
I guess, right? Right? Oh, I got the oil going here. It's got a bit of a nice spot for an oil drain, but she is dirty. And I'll be honest, I haven't changed it once since I got this unit and then about it used. I gotta stay, take better care of my stuff, I do know that. But uh, yeah, so we're gonna do that. This pump, honestly, if I'm honest, I've never changed oil on a pump, so this looks, I don't see where to do it. Do I have to take this part off first, or is this where the, I don't know. Because when I took that off, nothing came out. I wonder if that's the problem. <laughs> Maybe there's supposed to be oil in there. Oh God. I pay more attention. I did not use that side. There's two sides um, to drain. I didn't use that one. That is literally the side I was supposed to use. I mean, it effectively did the same thing, but that one wouldn't have caused as much of a mess. <laughs> oh well. I thought I had oil at the shop here, um, and I don't, not for this. I have pump oil, not this kind of oil. So what I'm gonna do is uh, pull this out. Who's messaging me? Oh yeah, I have a commercial vehicle inspection coming up due. Nice. I'm gonna shove this in here. And that'll be like tying a string around my finger saying, do not start this without oil in here. Okay, so we're gonna do that. Um, and even put it over here, just so that I cannot possibly get confused. Um, I'm just gonna do something else. <laughs> but I don't, hopefully, hopefully I don't forget that. All right, now on to the pump. So this will be the official sign off on this video because uh, I think I realized that I was just going to mix these two videos together and just call it one. Uh, so yeah, I'm all done here now for now. It's it's total mess still, um, but I do have to leave the shop, unfortunately, just uh, for a call that came in. So I'm going to go and do that. And, uh, and it's not one that involves the trailer, so I can just jump in the car and go. All right, guys. Uh, thanks again for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Do all that stuff. I have to figure out my own little outro. I got to more original with that <laughs> if I, also if i switch the camera from front to back i need to make sure to pause first see so watch there now i can talk now i can talk but if i talk at time I can't <sighs> okay bye